These are the top seven NBA players who are currently in jail after having entanglements with the long arm of the law. They're not in any particular order, but make sure that you stick around for number one to find out he was sent to jail for life. But before we get into it, make sure you drop a like on this video and subscribe to more awesome content on your YouTube feed. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. Number 7. Arthur Long While Arthur Long's time in the NBA was the direct opposite of his last name, he did get a seven-year sentence in 2015 that suited his name. Arthur Long was an NBA superstar at East High School in New York where he earned the nickname Art because, well, according to his coaches, his playmaking skills were a work of art. Maybe they just called him Art because his name was Arthur. He had an unremarkable career in the NBA and never fulfilled his potential. In fact, his greatest highlight came 10 years after he left the NBA when he was arrested for drug and weapon charges. Now that would have just gotten him three to four years in jail. Long protested that the drugs were for personal use, but thinking back, that was just really stupid. Carrying enough ecstasy and marijuana to supply a local dealer for a month in the trunk of your car, as well as a loaded AK-47, does not strike me as someone who uses those drugs personally. And I'm not even the sharpest tool in the shed. Further investigations revealed that Long was a major drug distributor in Rochester, New York, and he was sentenced to seven years in prison in December 2015. From NBA player to drug kingpin? Talk about a reverse low-budget Pee Wee Kirkland. Now, if you don't know who Pee Wee Kirkland is, check out the video that we recently just did on him. Number 6. Jabari Bird Now, I know what you may be thinking. Jabari Bird isn't in jail right now, so why is he on the list? Well, that is because as of October 2021, Jabari Bird admitted to strangulating his girlfriend at least a dozen times in a four-hour period and he is currently being charged with counts of assault and battery, both with a dangerous weapon and of a family or household member, kidnapping and strangulation. Now, I am not a betting man, but I recently just bet my last dollar that Jabari Bird is going to be in jail for the next five years. For a player who hit the NBA by storm, averaging 19.3 points in just his first season, that is a pretty tragic way to end his career. Who knows, he could have been the next Kevin Durant. Regardless, he deserves everything that comes his way. Domestic violence and all other forms of violence are a no-no for us and should be punished. It stinks to be him right now, but he's better off than our number five. Number five, Tate George. You may not have known Tate George when he was playing, but he was a fairly popular guy when he played for the New Jersey Nets. He became an even more popular after he retired when he was busted for running a Ponzi scheme. Like seriously, a Ponzi scheme? Apparently, Tate George started a real estate group called the George Group. I mean, come on, he could have at least been more creative with the name. And he proceeded to defraud a lot of people out of their hard-earned money. He was arrested in 2013 after petitions were made, and after a series of investigations and a long, drawn-out lawsuit, Tate George was convicted of four counts of wire fraud and was sentenced to nine years in prison. But that's not the end. A court also ruled that Tate George will have to pay $2.5 million in damages to his victims upon his release. So he's both in jail and in debt. Number 4. Sebastian Telfair Sebastian Telfair was one of those players that were so good when he was young that locals started dubbing him the next Michael Jordan. I mean, that happens to every kid that lands a three-pointer on the playground, but hey, you get the gist. While Telfair played 10 seasons in the NBA, he didn't quite reach that Michael Jordan status, and in 2017, he was arrested on charges of second-degree criminal possession of weapons. Now, I'm not much of a lawyer, but that sounds pretty damn serious. In 2018, he started a three-and-a-half-year prison sentence, but that's not where his troubles ended. In 2021, Telfair was connected with seven other NBA players who used a clinic to defraud the NBA of $4 million. I mean, defrauding the NBA while playing in the NBA? That takes a lot of balls to try that, so hats off to him and his colleagues. Serving jail time while having an ongoing case that could increase his jail time must be a bummer, though. After seeing all the above crimes, you're probably wondering what our top three did to merit their place in the top three. Well, better brace yourself. Number three, Javaris Crittenton. When you hear that a player has signed with a lot of NBA teams, you usually know that he's a really good player. For Crittenton, it was the exact opposite. No one wanted him. 
Now that's not because he was a bad player, he was decent and was arguably a better player than you and I. He just had a lot of disciplinary issues that no team wanted to deal with. Javaris Crittenton was arrested in 2011 for taking a life when he accidentally shot a mother of four while trying to shoot a rival gangster. Yep, you heard that right, he was an NBA player and a gangster. Now while his trial was ongoing, Javaris was caught with illegal drugs on his body. He was then set to go to jail for life, but ended up getting 23 years in jail in a plea bargain. Which is really a slap on the wrist if you were to ask me. Number 2. Tom Payne Tom Payne makes the list not because he's currently in jail, but because over the past few years he has spent a combined 40 years in jail. That's like almost a whole life. Tom Payne was a supreme athlete and because of his height and build he found success in a lot of sports, but he was only successful in boxing and then later in the NBA, where he spent one season. Now he would have continued if not for his lack of discipline in the sexual department. You see, Tom had a thing for forcing himself on ladies while in his first season in the NBA. This eventually got him arrested and he was jailed for five and a half years. After he was released, Tom Payne moved to a different state and was arrested again for forcing himself on women. He was sentenced to another five years in prison and after he was released, he was arrested yet again for similar crimes and this time spent 14 years in prison. Like seriously, don't you ever learn? Apparently he didn't because after he was released, he was sentenced to 16 years in prison again for similar crimes and then was released in 2015. Honestly, I'm quite surprised he's not back in jail right now, but knowing Tom Payne, it is just a matter of time till he's sent back home. Number 1. Eddie Johnson Eddie Johnson is the only former NBA player on this list that is no longer alive. And if you're wondering why he made this list, it is because Eddie Johnson was arrested and released 100 times. Yes, 100 times. That is not an exaggeration. Now, whether or not he deserved to be arrested 100 times is debatable, but who the hell releases someone from jail 100 times? Just give him a room in the damn place and be done with it. Eventually, Eddie Johnson was arrested for sexual crimes against a minor and was sentenced to life in prison, where he died peacefully in 2020. I mean, I may be out of line, but sexual crimes against a minor should carry life sentences if you ask me, but hey, that's just my opinion. What do I know? And that brings us to the end of this video. Now, while the lives of NBA stars may seem like a dream from the outside, it's not always the same for all of them. It's a nightmare for the ones on this list at least. Uh, see what I did there? Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you'll get our next video as soon as we drop it. We'll see you in the next one.